In 63 days, the Earth will be no more. On December 4th, humanity will come face to face with its greatest trial yet, to survive when Xenoblade Chronicles X hits store shelves. In the remaining days, we must prepare for our journey across the stars and through the uncharted wilds of planet Mira, our new home. To keep you informed and vigilant, the builders of the legacy after the destruction of Earth, also known as Blade, have assembled this five-part video series to ready you for your perilous mission. A grand destiny awaits. Planet Mira is full of dangerous life forms, so in this survival guide, we will explore the mechanics of combat to prepare you for the worst. Let's begin with the information you see during combat, also known as the battle screen. The enemy's detection type, level, name, and HP are displayed on the top of the screen. To the left, you can view your party's HP, tension points, levels, buffs, and debuffs. The bottom of the screen displays the arts palette, morale level, position related to the enemy, and current equipped weapon. Considering Earth's impending destruction, I'm sure you're anxious to put one to use. Here's how. Basic attacks are automatic blows dealt by either your party member's two equipped weapons. These auto attacks are the weakest form of offense in the game. However, they are a great way to deal damage between aggressive art attacks while also building tension points, which are used to activate powerful abilities. Each of your party members will have two types of auto attacks, one for their melee weapon and another for their ranged weapon. Press the X button at any time to switch them out as you adapt your strategy based on the distance between you and your enemies. In addition to the basics, you'll also be able to deal out special attacks known as arts. Art attacks are the ultimate way to deal damage to your enemies. There are dozens upon dozens of arts to learn, depending on which class your party members belong to. For starters, let's break down arts based on their ability types. Melee arts deliver close range blows. Ranged arts can be dealt from a distance. Debuff arts weaken enemies. and support arts can enhance abilities and heal allies. And aura arts can provide special abilities over time. Please keep in mind that the most powerful arts require tension points to activate, and some classes will specialize in particular ability types. So make sure to pick the class that suits you best. When performing an art attack, select the desired art on the arts palette, which is located on the bottom of the screen. After performing the art, the attack will need to cool down for a limited time. As you level up your class and completing quests, you will unlock additional arts that can be swapped into and out of the art palette. There are a lot of arts that complement each other well, so make sure to experiment with multiple configurations. Now, an advanced technique. After an art's cooldown period is complete, a green light will circle its icon. Using the art after the green light has completed its circle will add a bonus, such as increased damage, to any arts you use. This is called secondary cooldown. You can reduce the time it takes to enter a secondary cooldown by using the corresponding weapon. On your journey across planet Mira, you'll also acquire some unique skills. Skills provide passive effects that strengthen abilities such as arts, auto attacks, defense, and more. You and your party members will earn new skills when leveling up class ranks that can be freely mixed and matched with one another. So be sure to experiment with different types. Soul Voice is a combat mechanic that you won't normally encounter in role-playing scenarios. With the Soul Voice, you and your party members can call out to each other during battle, asking for a particular art to be performed. If executed correctly, your characters will receive enhanced abilities and will recover a small amount of HP. For example, if Elma calls out for coverage, a yellow box depicting a ranged art will appear above her head. Then, if a party member answers her call with a ranged art, both members' abilities will briefly receive a boost and a small amount of HP. In certain situations, a button prompt will appear. Press the B button when the orange circle overlaps the white circle to nail the timing. This is called Soul Challenge. 
Succeeding in soul challenges increases your morale level, which in turn increases the frequency of soul voices and other bonuses. For a description of each soul voice trigger conditions and bonuses, check out the soul voices screen and see if you can find the soul voice that best fits your playstyle. After reaching rank 10 in the starting class, Drifter, you'll gain access to three class chains. Each chain contains unique classes that specialize in different aspects of battle. The Striker Chain is a beginner-friendly chain that uses a good balance of offensive and defensive arts to stay within melee range. The Commando Chain focuses on applying damaging buffs to enemies and using ranged arts. The Enforcer Chain can provide support from a distance and offers many ranged arts and bonuses. To move through a class chain, you must achieve rank 10 to unlock the next class. For example, when you reach rank 10 as a striker, you can then access a Samurai Gunner or Shield Trooper. That's right, our leading scientists predict that Samurais will wield guns in the near future. At least, there's something to look forward to. Now, what every Blade member is itching to learn, advanced tactics. First, let's discuss Topple. Enemies inflicted with Topple will become incapable of dodging for a brief time, leaving them susceptible to extra damage. In fact, they usually can't even attack. When trying to execute advanced tactics, keep in mind that many arts have secondary abilities like Topple that activate when used or under certain conditions. For example, Assault Hammer deals physical damage and impairs the enemy with Topple, but you can take the damage even further by comboing into another art for maximum damage. A good follow-up is a Flame Grenade, which will deal additional damage to an enemy if they are toppled. Performing both arts back-to-back -back is known as an art combo. Combos are key to taking down powerful enemies in seconds, so be sure to read each art's description to maximize its usage. Another way to beef up your arts and skills is to gain battle points by leveling up and completing quests. Invest BP in your favorite skills and arts to strengthen their damage and abilities. The difference between a level 1 and a level 2 ability can be huge, so make sure to level up as often as you can. As you can see, strengthening the combo gunner skill will increase topple to flame grenade combo damage by more than double. Some arts you learn will also increase damage depending on your position, so it's important to always use your surroundings to your advantage. You can attack enemies from behind, above, or below to improve your odds of landing critical hits, and even hit their blind spots, assuming they have any. As you progress in your campaign, you will gain access to overdrives. Once you accrue 3,000 tension points, a spinning gear icon in the middle of the art palette will appear. Select the spinning gears to perform an overdrive. Overdrive greatly enhances your combat abilities for a limited time. While an overdrive is active, a counter will appear that alters based on the last art used. Each successful hit from an art during overdrive will advance the counter, and the color of the overdrive counter changes depending on which art is used, with different orders of colors granting various effects. Future Blade members beware. There are incredibly powerful enemies on planet Mira, known as Tyrants. These enemies are much stronger than your typical foe, even when you outrank them in experience level. That said, if you do manage to defeat one, you'll be rewarded with precious loot. To help you gauge the threat level, some Tyrants will have a gold, silver, or copper crown, depending on how many players they have killed, so be on the lookout. Each month until Earth's destruction, we will release one more survival guide. Be sure to check out our next video, where we will discuss the power of scales, how to obtain them, and more. Until then, share this guide with your friends, family, and anyone else who deserves a chance to survive.